of the Leo and thank you guys so much for tuning in. So guys, my apologies, I was not able to get your March mid-month out. So I do want to backtrack just to see what was going on. Um, everything was just crazy with, you know, everything that's happening in the world right now. So I hope all of you are safe. I hope you guys are able to stay home. And if you have to be out there, I hope you guys are safe. Okay. All right, guys. So let's look into March and this will be the last portion of it just to see what was happening in your lives and then we'll get into april now this will be for sun moon rising and venus leo signs and like i always say guys keep in mind that the energies could be interchangeable so it could be something that i'm picking up about you or an energy around you okay and this deck guys because i know a lot of you are going to love it um tarot grand lux It like hurts to use this deck because my hands are so tiny but i'm like you know what i was late on their reading so let me give them something super pretty to look at right now okay so let's start with three cards okay guys so we have the chariot what is this we have the three of coins reversed have to see that number for a second and then we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Um, so there's definitely some sort of movement that was made. Okay, for some of you, this could be physical. This could have to do with travel. For others of you, um, this is something that's just happening really fast. Okay, but there's something happening here. And someone is upset about something that just fell out. So it could be someone that you're like not seeing eye to eye with. Maybe this has to do with finances or work. And with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, this is your energy. So it could be you guys. But again, it could also be, you know, um, someone else that you're dealing with. Um, with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, this is just someone that can be very, very dramatic. Um, you know, a diva. And it's like you released something that was a burden on you. But at the same time, you're not happy. Because this is just an extreme change, okay? And it's like you you could be feeling as though um, this is causing some sort of like blockage for you, okay? Why is this chariot here? We have the world card in the reverse. Why is this three of coins reversed here? Hierophant. There are so many deep cards coming out in readings right now. I just feel like because of the shift we're all going through, just like as a whole. You guys have the four of coins. For some of you, you can specifically be upset because this is something that could affect you financially. Um, it could have a direct hit on your finances. Um, but this is causing you to just be very reserved whether it's with money whether it's um towards like a person or towards a certain energy and i feel as though things are just happening so fast so you're still kind of like looking past you because again i feel like it just happened like this so you're not over the past situation but with the hierophant this is a very positive change and this is something that um it affects your life deeply um when this card comes out, it shows that with whatever this is, it's putting you on your soul path. This is very deep. This is something that you, it requires a level of consciousness from you, uh, for you guys to really just um, tap into this. But whether you're ready for this or not, you know, um, it, it had to happen. And it's going to be positive. But I feel like although there's going to be growth, there's still something that you're upset about or that you had to like lose faith in. Maybe you try to excel with a certain person or in a certain direction just with anything. Um, and you know, sometimes you guys can have that sense of pride, like, no, I started this, I wanted to stay in this and you know, really just fuck shit up and you know, be the winner in all of this. But whatever this was, it was toxic for you guys. All in all, your soul didn't want to be part of this. So you're starting something that's going to be done with passion and it's going to be done with power. And there's a lot of things that you can leave behind. Okay. Um, with the Six of Cups in the reverse here, and this is the bottom of the deck that I'm pulling it from, but I feel like this is something that 
helps you tap into an inner you that you may not have tapped into before, like in a while. So this could be like maybe an, a desire from your inner child, something like that. But it's deep. Okay. Um, again, there's reservation because of something that didn't go to plan, but there's really no need. Okay. Because whatever else you guys are going into, it's much better anyways. Okay. Um, yeah, with that four of pentacles energy coming out, cause that came out, um, yeah, that keeps coming out with that energy. You guys could just have to be reserved about finances. For some of you, this could have been, I really feel like this could have had to do with business. So let me pull three more cards. All right, so we have the Empress card. The Magician in the reverse. And the Strength card in the reverse. So guys, this had to happen because it exposed something that it just wasn't as solid as you thought it was. Whether that was on your part or someone else's part or just, you know, collective part of everyone involved. But you go into something that is better for you it's it's like it's more nurturing for you it just makes more sense and you're going to put a lot into this this is something that you know um you have to build and tend to but maybe your your pride or your ego is bruised because of something that's really what i'm feeling um for some of you maybe something didn't work out with work maybe you were like laid off with what's happening right now and it could you know uh, you could be in a place where maybe you're upset that you're limited on finances. But yeah, there's some sort of reservation. And I feel like it's because of something you're battling and it's on the inside. Okay. All right. So let me do one more spread for you guys and then I'll give you some guidance here. My voice is like cracking. I don't know why. <laughs> I've been home for the last week. All right. So we have the Queen of Cups here. That could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio um, for some of you. But this is just going to be someone that has a very stable, understanding, and, uh, understanding, empathic, uh, empathic, I can't even talk right now, um, empathic energy. Someone is, that's just like naturally a giver or a nurturer. Someone who really knows how to, you know, love and express that. Um, we have the Queen of Swords. So this is kind of someone who's more of like a hard ass. This could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. But someone who's more to the point. Someone who thinks more logically. Okay. Two queens coming up. That's interesting. And the Judgment card. Okay. I feel like so many powerful cards are coming out. I just did Scorpio and they had, you know, such a deep reading as well. Um, you guys have to find a good balance right now between what makes you feel at peace and what is realistic at the same time and you can't compromise on that so you need to make sure that there's you know this emotional stability with the path that you choose to take moving forward and with the judgment card coming out um this is huge this is you know letting go of things from the past that just you know, we're running your life or distracting you from the direction you're supposed to go in. Um, this could be, you know, uh, drug problems. This could be a toxic love. This could be, um, you know, friends that don't inspire you or they're not, you know, genuine friends. And when you guys make this decision, you don't, you don't go back. Okay. So this is like really just changing a way of being. And it's, the good thing is a lot of you are very strong as you do this, but you might get a lot of reservation from people and energies around you. So you're going to have to stay strong because you might be met with a lot of resistance, but I see you getting through that. All right, we have the Ten of Swords. The seven of coins and the nine of wands. Um, what's going to be tough about this is that when you guys decide your course of action and what you need to do to be at ease and to do what's logical, um, it could make something end abruptly 
someone might even feel betrayed by your decision. Okay, keep in mind this could be vice versa, but it's saying that you guys, um, and this is the Eight of Pentacles, not Seven of Pentacles, but you guys just have to work through it and you have to stand your ground because you're onto something. You have the Nine of Cups, so ultimately this leads to fulfillment, to happiness. Um, for a lot of you, this leads to a lot of wealth too, okay? For a lot of you, you're, you're going to be shifting um, maybe the people that you're around and what you do, but I'm picking up that a lot of you are going to be moving in silence, okay? Not saying that your close family and friends aren't going to know what you're up to, um, but I feel like there's something that you are going to be manifesting that you're kind of just going to keep to yourself for a while. It's not going to be something you're going to really publicize, but you're, you're building it. That you're getting ready for the world to see it. You have the eight of wands in the verse. Yeah. Um, this shift is going to require you to cut off certain things and people. And people aren't going to take it lightly. Okay. Um, you have the full card in the verse here. So it just shows next to the eight of wands in the verse that anything that you know would be a detriment in your life, you're just letting it go. You know, like that one friend that we have that they're always fucking shit up, but we love them anyways. That might be the friend that you drop, especially if it's getting in the way of like um, what you need to do, especially if it's like a bad influence for you. So just things like that that are going to shift for you guys. And we have the Queen of Wands. So you really come out of this very empowered. Um, there is so much feminine energy right now. And I want you guys to know, you know, you're new into the spiritual world. It has nothing to do with females. Okay, this is just, uh, of course, it has to do with females as well, but um, there's going to be more of a conscious shift where you guys are really just letting your guard down. You're doing what feels natural. Um, you're tapping into your spirituality. Um, you're doing the work that needs to be done, the shadow work that needs to be done, and you have the wheel of fortune. Okay, so this is a very positive shift. You guys are really getting so many strong things. Um, this is powerful, guys. And it's funny because for a lot of you, this came about in a way because of a circumstance that you could not control. That's what kind of made you come to this realization. Um, but it's a very positive one. And all these tens are coming out with, you have the Wheel of Fortune and Ten of Wands. So that's the number of completion, guys, when it comes to just numbers. Okay, so something is done. A cycle has been completed. So I'll give you guys some guidance. So what guidance do you guys need for April 2020? All right, so we have the Seven of Swords. So um, like I said, there's kind of something that's being done in silence here. You guys are keeping to yourself about something. And you have the Chariot. So it's not that you're keeping it to yourself because of your fear of not getting it done. It's getting done. You're just not talking about it just yet. Because this is something that's going to be a huge move. A lot of people might not. Well, yeah, a lot of people aren't going to see this coming. Um, you have the three of coins in the reverse. It's something that's happening fast. But I just don't feel like you guys feel that you have enough to show for it just yet. So it's happening. But um, you kind of have like the show me the money attitude. So until you have that money, that plate of gold there, you're not going to show it. Okay. But it is something that's working out. It is something that you're building. Um, if you guys are unhappy about anything or just with the shift that's happening, because I feel like it's very drastic and sudden for a lot of you, just know that you're going to have success here. So you have the Knight of Cups reversed, but you have the Six of Wands accompanying that. So um, you really prosper because of this. So Knight of Swords attitude here. Focus on what you need to get the work done. Keep your head down. And the results will show. That, that's what's going to speak for you. You have the Page of Cups. I'm gonna pull two more cards. The Hermit card, yep. This is powerful stuff, guys. 
six of wands so you're kind of like in hibernation mode when it comes to like society in the world right now at the bottom of the deck you have the ace of pentacles so this is really powerful guys so if you're upset about anything um just know that it was the hugest blessing even if you don't see it right now so hone in focus on what you're doing hermit mode is what you want to do so with the knight of swords and with the hermit mode you're focused um you're doing the research that needs to be done you're reading up on what you need to know and you're doing it you're mastering something okay and it's going to lead to a lot of long-term stability for you um and for a lot of you i feel like this is going to come in wealth okay so this is incredible guys all right guys so if you need a personal reading i will be here um i'm really just glad because i've had so much time to like catch up on stuff so i have no excuse to not work so i have been doing that um if you guys want to follow me on instagram high vibrations 44 i'm on twitter as well blue hot shit so i will be here if you guys need me take care